All right, so if you have the X27 Plus from good old eBay, um, I want to show you how to root the phone or what software you need to root the phone. And it's fairly easy. I messed around with this for a couple days before I realized that the OS that they say is running on here is not the one that's running on here. So it says it came with 9 on the website. If you look in the software, it says it's 8.0, and it's really actually for it's version 4. It's like 4.4 or something like that. Um, so how I rooted this was I actually downloaded this Kingo root. And if you download it to your Android, you can download it directly, or you can get it for Windows. I recommend doing it with Windows, and then you can actually remove the Kingo root uh, application later and make room on your phone after you rooted the phone and removed all the bloatware. You can remove this application and save space. Because this application just basically wants you to install a bunch of other junk that's not necessary. So you can get this application from kingoapp.com and uh, that's it king root so once it's on the phone you basically want to click on the application it'll come up it'll ask you a couple questions you just click through till it said the phone is rooted it'll say congratulations phone is rooted it will actually only go like a certain percentage it might go to 94 it's been going to 88 for the last couple times I haven't done anything else it just says three issues need to be attended to which is just it wants to install some software but all we need to do is make sure that the phone is rooted itself so once it says the phone is rooted you can move on now I'll show you another way to figure out if the phone has been rooted all the way one way is this is an application called bloatware remover you can download this and if it will remove the software that you want to remove then it is truly rooted so it could be anything, say this backup and restore here. If you wanted to remove it, you would just check the box. Let's see if we can get it to show. There it is. That's the stuff. At the bottom, it'll say uninstall, enable, or disable. So if you disable, it'll just go, it'll be on the phone, but it'll just disable it for this user. If you uninstall it, it will remove it from the system, which is what I recommend because it will remove the app completely. Now, what you're going to have to do is go through like I did and individually remove what you don't want. And I recommend downloading a couple of antivirus scanners, updating them, and um, definitely looking for uh, stuff that might be on the phone that might be malware. Now my phone originally said that it was clean. There was nothing there. I scanned it with a couple more. It said it was clean. A day later, it said that there was malware on it. So I actually went back in found the malware and removed it but yeah so that's pretty much it once you're done with that and you've removed everything that you didn't want on the phone to make room you can actually just uninstall that application and then you can remove the king root application using the computer and it will completely remove it and deroot the phone so this super user x I downloaded this just to make sure that the actual app, uh, the system was rooted and it uh, has a verify feature. So once I clicked on verify, it showed like what version it was running. Congratulations. Your X27 Plus Android 4.4.2 is rooted. So that's the OS 4.4.2. So it is back uh, several versions, but it does work and all these features work. I removed all the stuff, even the thumbprint stuff, because I don't need it. I basically don't care if the phone is locked or not. I'm not going to lock it. All I need to do is be able to surf the web, use Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Once you're done with everything, you can remove these applications, deroute the phone, and then you've created more space to add more apps. Hope this helps somebody. You guys take it easy. Peace out.